Hello and welcome to this special edition of the RHP Insight Podcast. I'm Nova Lui, RHP Bank Head of Investor Advisory. Today we are thrilled to have with us a distinguished guest who brings a wealth of experience and insights into the world of equity market. Joining us is Mr. Tan Ji Tun, Chief Investment Officer of RHP Asset Management Singapore. We are truly fortunate to have Mr. Tan with us today to share his perspective on the current market landscape, the opportunity and challenges in the Chinese equity market, and how investors can position themselves in this dynamic environment. Welcome Mr. Tan, and thank you for making time to join us on this podcast. This year has witnessed a notable divergence in the performance of the US and Chinese equity market. While the US equity market, particularly the S&P 500 and NASDAQ, has faced downward pressure due to concern over AI chip competition, elevated valuation in the tech sector, and potential recession risk stemming from trade tariff. The Chinese equity market has been on the upward trend over the past six months. Mr. Tan, what do you think has driven the recovery of the Chinese equity market during this period? And are there specific sectors, policies, or macroeconomic factors that has played a significant role in this rebound? Thank you, Nova. Very happy to be here for this podcast. I think, indeed, the Chinese equity market has been on the uptrend over the course of the last six months or so. I think the uptrend can be broken up into two phases. The first phase, starting from October 2024, was mainly due to the clear, strong, and more decisive policy measures that has been announced by the Chinese policymakers during that period. It was quite clear that Xi Jinping and China's senior leadership was very serious about supporting the Chinese economy as well as promoting the tech sector. In the second phase of this rally, starting from February of 2025, was sparked by the emergence of DeepSeek, a very young Chinese AI startup that captured the imaginations of investors all over the world and caused a re-rating of the Chinese equity market, especially the Chinese technology consumer, as well as internet sectors. This low-cost but very advanced AI model certainly helped the Chinese equity market to re-rate considerably during this period after the Chinese New Year. More importantly, as Nova, as you have rightly pointed out, was the dramatic shift in investors' focus. During these last few months, tariff actions against Canada, Mexico, and even EU, as well as its proclamation of claiming dominance over the Panama Canal, Canada, as well as Greenland, certainly caused gyrations to the U.S. equity market. This has caused a sharp re-rating in the U.S. equity market, as well as shift investors' focus to China. And coincidentally, with the emergence of deep seek, this has also captured the imaginations of investors all over the world. I'm glad that you mentioned about deep seek, which is in fact the center of my discussion today. The launch of deep seek has taken the market by storm, particularly in its timing just before the Chinese New Year. This development has sparked discussion about its potential to accelerate China and Asia AI narrative. Mr. Tan, do you see deep state emergence as a significant catalyst for China and Asia AI story? And how might this innovation influence the technology sector within the Chinese equity market and which subsector could benefit the most? Indeed, deep state's emergence is definitely a significant catalyst for China's AI story. Deep state, I think, is a game changer for the Chinese AI story as it is very advanced, and more importantly, it is free and is open sourced. Our view is that the impact on the other technology sectors uh, will include the semiconductor industry. For sure, the AI application will cause a surge in the orders for AI chips, as well as the AI supply chain. In addition, cloud computing services will also benefit the major cloud providers will benefit as they integrate DeepSeek into their platforms. And more importantly, other subsectors that will be able to use DeepSeek in their application, that will include sectors like healthcare, financial, fintech, 
as well as the Chinese internet sectors. These are some of the key sectors will, which will definitely benefit from the emergence of DeepSeek. What surprises everyone is not just about DeepSeek capability, which is deemed to be similar to ChatGPT, but also DeepSeek's ability to operate with less processing power is a notable breakthrough, potentially reducing dependency on known China AI technologies. This raises questions about China's self-reliance in AI development. Could this shift disrupt the current US AI chip industry and how it might get influence China's position in the global AI supply chain? Indeed, as you correctly pointed out, DeepSeek's capability is similar to JetGPT, but it utilizes less processing power. Right now, DeepSeek's innovation in creating more efficient AI models will definitely have significant implications for both domestic as well as global semiconductor industry. Um, in coming up with DeepSeek, it's quite clear that China is able to reduce its reliance on high-end foreign chips due to its innovation as well as its software capabilities. It has become quite clear that the path is not so straightforward for just US to dominate the global AI industry. I think there is also impetus to break away from the US will definitely stimulate the Chinese chip industry to innovate and to have breakthrough like what DeepSeek has done over the course of the last few weeks. Even though right now, Nvidia, TSMC are still definitely leading in the global chip supply chain, it's quite clear that um, the advance of DeepSeek will give this assumption food for thought for investors who have assumed that NVIDIA and TSMC will have dominance for the foreseeable future. Thank you, Mr. Tan. DeepSeek's success highlights the growing potential of China's generative AI capability. This could have far-reaching effects beyond the immediate AI ecosystem. What potential spillover effect do you foresee from DeepSeek and China generative AI advancement on the broader China technology sector? With the emergence of DeepSeek, the spillover effect on the rest of the industry has been wide-ranging. Over the last few weeks, we have seen DeepSeek being integrated into the businesses of cloud providers, automakers, healthcare industry, financial fintech, as well as the consumer electronic industry. DeepSeek has also provided a big boost to domestic tech firm. I think the success of DeepSeek has spurred Chinese tech companies to accelerate their own AI initiative in order to create more efficient model as well as to contribute to a broader AI-driven rally in the Chinese tech space. More importantly, it has also caused spotlight to be cast on the cloud computing, big data, and more importantly, on the AI-driven application sectors. We do believe that this positive spilled over effect will cause a re-rating of the Chinese stock markets. Given the rapid development in China AI landscape, investors may need to reassess their portfolio to capitalize on the emerging opportunity. Jitun, based on your insight, how would you rebalance your own investment portfolio to participate in the potential growth driven by China AI story. Is there any specific company, sector, or even themes that you would prioritize to align with this trend? In terms of portfolio allocation, with the emergence of DeepSeek, we are even more excited about our positioning in the Chinese technology and the Chinese internet sector. Our view is that the emergence of DeepSeek will cause a re-rating of, of Chinese AI-related sectors that will benefit from the spillover positive impact from deep sea. And that will include the electric vehicle, EV, and autonomous vehicles, AV sectors. And not only that, we will start to see more and more applications of deep sea that will be incorporated into edge 
appliances or edge devices like handphones, um, TVs, as well as consumer electronic product. Right now, currently in our portfolio, we have more than 60% of our weights that are invested in the Chinese technology and technology as well as sectors that are related to AI. Chinese equity market has faced a mix of challenges and opportunity in recent months, with AI advancement being one of the key themes. Jitun, where do you see Chinese equity market heading over the next six months? Are there any key catalysts that could drive growth and what potential risks should investors remain cautious about? Our view is that over the next six months, I think the Chinese equity market is poised for an upward re-rating trajectory. However, I do feel that the path forward will be quite volatile as well. I think the key growth catalyst will include more technological innovations that will result from uh, industry adopting deep seek, as well as more innovative AI technologies that will start to appear over the course of the next few months. More importantly, we are starting to see the impact of the looser fiscal and monetary policies that have been enacted over the past few quarters. Currently, with the actions of the US, it's quite clear that there is a dramatic global investment shift that is happening in the world right now. And Chinese market is poised to receive these flows that will result from the volatility in the US market. In terms of potential risk, we can't run away from the fact that the geopolitical risk tension will continue to exist with US-China tensions continues to hawk headlines because at the end of the day, I think the US-China competition is here to stay. The other thing that we have to worry about is that in terms of domestic economic challenges, we need to be watchful of the Chinese property market, which although we felt is already bottoming our view is that it will continue to languish for the next few quarters also. Thank you very much, Jitun. So far, we have been mostly spoken about uh, China. You have earlier mentioned about the US imposing trade tariff on China. However, this time, the measure affecting Canada and Mexico, adding to the existing geopolitical tension between the two nations. Can you give us more insight on the implication on this trade tariff for the equity market, particularly in the context of ongoing geopolitical tension, and which sector are most at risk, and how might company or investor adapt to navigate this uncertain risk landscape? US imposing trade tariffs on Canada and Mexico, I think is a lose-lose situation for all parties involved. It's inevitable that if US were to impose extreme tariffs on Canada and Mexico, both Canada and Mexico are likely to undergo a recession. However, US will not be spared as well. I think the US growth, if the tariffs were to be implemented and counter tariffs were to be implemented by both Canada and Mexico on the US will result in US growth slowing down. In fact, over the course of the last week or so, the probability of US entering into a recession in 2025 has increased dramatically and is now at a probability of 30% probability that US will enter into a recession in 2025 if US were to go ahead and impose trade tariffs on Canada and Mexico. However, in the case of China, I think the impact on tariff will be much more muted. Reason is, currently, the U.S. exports from China currently is only roughly about 15% of total China exports. So the impact is already much more diminished compared to the situation in 2018. Moreover, industries or companies who are able to move their operations from China have already done so. So further tariff would not result in too much of this industry or companies moving away from China. In any case, 
right now, US is conducting a tariff war with almost every country in the world. And in comparison, the tariff on China does not look to be very extreme at this point in time. However, it is open, it's also important to note that right now, companies and sectors that are most at risk would include the manufacturing and export oriented industry, as well as automotive industry, in particular, the electric vehicle industry that Chinese is so dominant in. Companies are able to adapt, however, uh, to this new scenario through diversification of their markets, as well as to localize their supply chain. It's important for investors to remain vigilant, as I think geopolitical risk will continue to hawk headlines over the course of 2025. Thank you, Jitun, for your sharing today, which I trust is timely and able to assist investors to make better informed investment decisions. Dear investor, our platform offers a wide range of Asia and China-related funds that could benefit from exposure to tech and AI-driven teams. We encourage you to connect with your relationship manager to explore how these opportunities can be integrated into your investment portfolio. Thank you and see you again in the next podcast series.